you are selected for this committee. It is a lot of responsibility. The committee is made up of unique people from all walks of life. It's they're, they're people with different ideas and different feelings, different emotions. Each of them brings something different to the table when we're discussing resolutions or any, any matter of legislation. But when you get in that room together, it's not my feeling or their feeling, it's, it's what we're feeling together. And uh, that's how we get these resolutions through. The one thing I absolutely love about CSEA as a whole is it's never been just about CSEA. It's never solely the classified school employees. It's always been about the labor movement as a whole. It's been about workers everywhere, regardless. We come together. Everybody is mindful and respectful of everybody else's opinion. So when we have our discussions, we have some heated discussions sometimes. It's a diverse group, and that's what we want, you know, to have everybody from every possible culture or scenario background, if you would, uh, be involved in the discussion. You get the different points of view from people from not only different areas, but each of us have a different job in our district. We all come from a different area of, of social and economic areas. There's 10 people on the legislative committee, one representative from each area, the County Office of Education, and we have a chair also. There are different people that feel passionate, very passionate, I would say, about particular issues. What's important to me in Area C might not be important to somebody in Southern California or up in Northern California. So if there's legislation that impacts them, I want to understand how does that impact them? How is that going to you know, translate to across the entire state, not just our particular areas? A chapter submits a resolution. It goes to the resolution committee. The resolution committee then decides where does this need to go? Does this go to the legislative committee? What area of CSEA might this resolution have impact on? When we have a resolution that is moving forward to us as, as alleged, we usually get a copy of those ahead of time. The GR sent it to us with their analysis. So it give us enough time to really read it and make a note. So when we come to this meeting, we're prepared. We're reviewing every single resolution that's submitted that has anything to do with legislation. What we do is we pretty much pick it apart. Would it hurt other chapter? Yes, there's five chapter that needed this resolution, but if it's gonna hurt the rest of the chapter, it's not good. Sometimes it just affects the members of CSCA, and at times it also affects everybody in our state. Somebody might interpret it one way, somebody else will interpret it a different way. So then we get a different perspective on why we think this resolution was brought forward. The no comes from a couple different ways, from different places. I mean, one is that sometimes we know that as it's written, is not gonna be a very good law or a change of law. This resolution requests that the California School Employees Association sponsor legislation to request that current law, SB 1626, be amended to include individuals working in a school's security capacity. We actually debated that for three years. The first time it came out, there was some things in there that needed to be changed in regards to uh, some of the laws that were quoted on the resolution. So it went to conference and it failed. These are security people who were dealing with situations in their own schools. And what we really needed was them to, to create the, the resolution in a way that covered not just their schools, but the statewide schools. Resolution number two, amended SB 1626 school security training. The resolution was brought back the, the, the following year. The things were changed, but there were still some things that needed to be fixed. It took a little work, a little tweaking of the, of the words, and it went from a direct change of the law and, and adding a bunch of things to really just, hey, let's just get what we really need, the basic. And, and that's where we got it to, is, hey, let's just get the basic training to these people so that we're not having people not understand what their job is or how to protect children. And that year was the year that it passed. And so we're gonna be lobbying for that this year. What goes on in there is that discussion to understand and to really kind of reason, come to some kind of understanding of where these chapters are coming from, what their, what their issues are. Our chapter brought forth a resolution to bring noon duties under the classified jurisdiction. They were not classified employees, you know, a couple years ago when we started lobbying the legislature to bring them in. That was a resolution from our membership. We wanted legislation changed so that 
the noon duties would be considered classified employees. We wrote the resolution. I presented it to the legislative committee. We discussed it. There were pros and cons. Ultimately, the legislative committee supported it. We took it to conference. Please raise your green yes cards. We got uh, Assemblymember Thurmond to pick up the legislation, and he ran with it. The legislative committee in our respective areas, we had our school sites, our districts, send letters in to the governor saying, please sign this legislation. That's one of my proudest accomplishments with CSEA, is being able to look at these people who we brought into our own chapter and say, you know, we helped do this, and now you benefit from, um, from that work that we did. CSEA members have a lot of power. I only have what I have because of the members who came before me. It's uh, really empowering and it's an honor. It's, for me, it's a chance to give back on a, the, the most fundamental level. We have the booklet CSEA wrote the book and a lot of those things that are in there, the legislative committee helped draft some of the, the language that got moved forward by our government relations department. So I'm pretty proud of that and I think it's great to see over all the years, how much CSEA has contributed to the benefit of all classified members across the state.